this address is the culmination of a family's love affair with furniture. How they grew from selling it to creating it. How the next generation took that tradition into property development and ultimately created a home where almost everything is made in-house. Already from the beginning, this is really a stunning home. Thank you. The theme that they wanted was to bring in a lot of natural light and to try and get the outdoors indoors. So everywhere you look, you can see glass, you can see the garden and lots of nice natural light. Oh wow, this is really stunning. The garden really stands out a lot as well. It's stunning, especially <laughs> the way the house opens up. What have you done in this space? We kept the old dining room suite and server. All we did was reupholster the dining room chairs. We used the dark wallpaper because of the amount of light that actually came into the room, which allowed us to warm up this area, which was actually a little bit cold in the past. With Joburg enjoying such a sunny, temperate climate, these art pieces always get to shine in natural light. My father, he actually loves the Asian look. I remember as a little boy flying around in the eastern areas and he would find a nice vase, he'd have them bubble wrap it and he'd be carrying it on the plane, checking it in. Some of the attention to detail on these pieces are absolutely exquisite. Also, uh, you'll see some of the artwork. My mother used to own an art gallery for 18 years, so a lot of the artwork is very personal to them, and uh, they really do appreciate the art. What's so interesting is that the split floors really gives the illusion that these are two completely different rooms. It is a very nice architectural feature because it allows you to decorate both areas uh, separately, have a different feel, but it also gives you a nice open plan, warm feeling. All of his parents' art influences are reflected in their son's love of furniture design. The materials used is marine vinyl, which is what they use on the yachts. It can last in any weather conditions. You can even take it and throw it into the pool for a week, take it out and sit in it within five minutes and it'll still be in perfect condition. Useful if a party gets out of hand. But it's the TV room which Ryan's parents, Dennis and Alison, enjoy the most. As you can see, we have mixed the Perspex table with the contemporary couch. Is there a unique way that you design your couches? Yes. The first thing about our couches is that they have got to be comfortable, hard-wearing and last as long as possible. Uh, the most important feature that we make sure is that the ergonomics are correct, such as a woman's feet have always got to when you're sitting on it, touch the floor. Thank you for thinking about the girls and their shoes. I definitely have to try this. Wow, look at that. I'm sitting far back and still my feet are on the floor. This is like bliss, I love it. Now, Ryan, what are some of the extra key features in this home? You can operate everything by the touch of a button, from the lights to the audio, even the curtains. Wow, look at that. Now, whilst my father plays with his gadgets in this room, you can often find my mother in the kitchen. One of my favorite places. The lady of the house is camera shy, but her kitchen does all the talking. It's the latest area of design this entrepreneurial clan have expanded into. And mum, Alison, was the inspiration. Now, Lorna, us being a Lebanese family, we have spent many, many times gathered around this kitchen and picking all the food from my mother before she's even dished it. I love the fact that there's a garden just outside the kitchen. Does your mom spend a lot of time there? My mother loves gardening. Every part of this garden my mother has done herself. And the part that she loves the most about this kitchen are these beautiful big doors that open up onto the garden, brings in a lot of air and a lot of light. With all the space and straight lines, they brought a warm feeling to the home by mixing materials and finishes, wood and perspex, strong and light colors, while always threading the characters of their parents through their decor. Oh, wow. You know what, Ryan, in spending some time with you, I've realized that one of the key things for your parents was to create a home and not a showpiece. The homely feel was definitely one of the major features that we wanted to retain. Um, all of us kids have moved out of the house, so as you'll see when you're walking around, you'll see a lot of family photographs, and so maintaining that homely vibe was definitely the most important part. Who's more evident in this room, your mom or your dad? This room is a 50-50 room, because the painting behind me is the one that my father likes most, and the painting on that side of the room is the one that my mother likes the most. 
In their huge ensuite dressing room, Lorna noticed that Dennis has more closet space than his wife. At lunch with three generations of the family, she considered teasing him about it, but she didn't want to make this proud patriarch blush in front of his granddaughters. Jessica, why do you and your sister love visiting your grandma and grandpa's house? Because we have a lot of fun and we get spoiled and we can stay up very late and watch TV. They see time on the couch as research into the family business. The best part is that it's decorated and finished the way they wanted it. It's not that half the house is decorated and the other half hasn't been done. It is completed, it looks perfect, it's beautiful, everything matches and well planned out. It's been really awesome spending the day with you and what's so nice to see is that family tradition is continued and embodied in this really beautiful home. What it represents to the family is a legacy more than four decades in the making.